to everybody that covered up for Hillary Clinton with her criminal activities, selling uh, U.S. secrets, selling out U.S. sovereignty, selling out favors, everybody from the Saudi Arabians to the Communist Chinese to the Russians. And so what does Hillary do? Is she has a massive problem selling out for $35 million, one-fifth of U.S. weapons-grade plutonium. That's admitted. That's in the Wall Street Journal. That's even in the New York Times. She accuses Donald Trump of being a Russian agent. They've accused me of that. I mean, this is really getting crazy. It's like accusing me of being Santa Claus or a Keebler elf. Well, what do you do when you've got the same FBI a couple years ago with Jeffrey Epstein with the Lolita Express with Bill Clinton on at least 16 round-trip flights to the pedophile island he got convicted of running. And then you've got Clinton flying out to hang out with sultans that have admitted harems of little boys and little girls. This is mainstream news. Well, the FBI, quote, gave them all immunity. Magic wand, you're above the law. But they know Trump is holding this back. I've known this has been a Trump October surprise for six months. And so what happens? They hit Trump with it. Now, in 30 minutes, I'm going to break down an internal Democratic Party, Party dossier. And we have the actual next 29 days till the election, the actual data dump on their battle plans and how they're going to hit Trump. We even know what she and Anderson Cooper are going to be hitting them first with in the debate at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern tonight. So that is all coming up today. And at the bottom of the hour, I will break all of this down. This is so surreal. Now, obviously, they've released an 11-year-old tape of him on a TV show when they were deceptively recording him on a bus. It's highly edited. You hear him kind of end with, well, she was married, so I, you know, yeah, backed off. Locker room talk, I guarantee you most Republicans and Democrats do far worse. But my issue is Trump never acted like he was some perfect angel. He never held that out. He's got the same sin as King David. He likes women or King Solomon. The point is he's a nationalist. He's got the globalists that have occupied and captured this country absolutely hating his guts and throwing everything they've got at him. It's not like he was some televangelist that said, if you kiss your girlfriend out of wedlock, you're going to hell. And then he got caught, you know, with a prostitute. The guy's never been a hypocrite. We knew this was all coming up. Those Howard Stern interviews are old. They hit him with those a year ago. So this is all about manipulating his evangelical support base. What you need to know is Pence is anti-abortion. So is Trump. That's all you need to know. Is the guy a hypocrite? Absolutely not. If he was a goody two-shoe and said that he was the cleanest whistle around, and then he got caught shooting his mouth off like this, I'd say this guy's a hypocrite. I don't like him. Quite frankly, I like Trump more because of this. And, and it's not that I'm some gruff guy that shoots my mouth off like this. It's that it's he's so real. That's why they're so scared of him. And they cannot stand him. And they've got more of this stuff coming out. But, man, the Clintons literally fund radical jihadis that mutilate women's genitals. Uh, Hillary stays in the same bedroom with Uma Abedin, whose mother's the top genital mutilation maven that pushes it. They fund jihadis to take over hundreds of thousands of Christians. Benghazi, what difference does it make? You know, the ordering, the stand down, getting caught lying about it. It goes on and on and on. The abortion pushing they're doing, the baby parts selling that Trump says is horrible. So, killing three, four million babies selling their body parts a year? Is that bad? No. The average fake Christian wants to bitch about him saying, oh my goodness, this woman was so hot to learn she was married. Uh, this is uh, really a referendum on whether we really want to be with the establishment that's screwing us over or we want to make America great again. All right, it's a big broadcast. We've got huge breaking news. I've got my Democratic Party source. Roger Stone's going to be joining us. He's got huge intel on the debate. This is going to be a big broadcast, one of the biggest ever. Stay with us. We're two hours out uh, from our expanded coverage and then four hours. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday, October 9th, 2016. I'm your host, Alex Jones, coming to you live from the heart of Texas, Austin, broadcasting worldwide. Well, coming up tonight, we've got the CNN-hosted debate with Anderson Cooper, half of its town hall. We have intelligence from inside the Democratic Party, high level, on the dossier that they intend to attack Donald Trump with the next 29 days. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, I will launch into this exclusive battle plan that the Democrats have to launch. Now, obviously, it's going to be about sexual activity. They know that's Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton's weakness. 
So they want to muddy the waters and accuse Trump of what they clearly have been involved in and have been involved covering up. Trump made a major miscalculation through intermediaries from the Clintons through Chelsea to Trump's daughters two and a half weeks ago in the upcoming debate a week later to not go after Hillary for the sexual crimes and covering up and stay in the same hotel room with Uman Abedin, whose mother's the top jihadi, Wahhabist, Sharia law pusher for sexual mutilation. I mean, she's the top person. Made a huge mistake not going after that because now they are going to hammer him and hammer him hard. Now, obviously, we have the three-minute tape, highly edited, but Trump just came out and said, well, I apologize, this is 11 years ago. This isn't who I normally am, and I've changed. And I'm sure he has changed getting educated about the globalists, the New World Order. He's shown that. That's why the establishment hates him. But just to see Bill Clinton, who settled sexual assault cases, settled all these other cases with women, who's known to do all this, to have the mainstream media ignoring these scores of women that have come out saying he brutally raped them decades ago. And Hillary on tape bragging about covering up for a pedophile she knew was guilty, who brutally raped a 12-year-old girl and put her in a coma. And then to see them launching jihad attacks and pushing all this and then saying, oh my gosh, Donald Trump, with some you know contestant 20 years ago, said that she gained too much weight after she won, so she lost her contract. That's what happens with a boxer if they're not wait for a fight. Supposed to be a middleweight, you're in a heavyweight range, you forfeit the fight. Or the person's got to go ahead and fight you and sign off on that. But women say they want to be in a man's world, fine, you got to play by those rules. So they push this whole thing along sexist lines. It's all Hillary Clinton's got. When she's one of the biggest abusers of women out there. I mean, this is epic what's going on. And, and, and I don't just sit here and a, approach this like I'm a Republican who wants Trump to win. Trump has his own issues. I, I've been against the Republicans many times in my radio and TV career. I'm bipartisan when I attack people. I just go out for the truth. But Hillary is such a monster and has such a criminal record and stole the nomination from Bernie Sanders and on the payroll of the Saudi Arabians and the communist Chinese and all these other corrupt governments and the Pope all lined up telling us we can't have Donald Trump. Why is that? Because these special interests have taken this country over. And Donald Trump, they don't know if he's for real trying to get us our sovereignty back or whether he's just a hyena trying to come in and steal the lion's uh, quarry that they've already killed. They just know he isn't part of their club and he's coming into this kill. And they're about to try to kick him off of the kill. So Trump's an unknown country. Trump's not perfect. We all know that. But we know Hillary Clinton is pure evil. And there's this mass mental illness where people can sit there and think that they're buying into somebody so they're getting political power by getting reflected glory from them. With Hillary and with Obama, blacks have gotten double unemployment what they had eight years ago. With them, the college educations are more unaffordable than ever. And 80 plus percent of people that get one of these college degrees will never pay off their loan, will never get a job, whether it's worth the degree. But people that have been defrauded by this system are doubling down believing Bernie Sanders or Hillary can deliver them this. But when Hillary speaks to Wall Street, she says, listen, Bernie supporters live in their mother's basements. They're baristas at best. They're nobodies or losers. And she's come out and said that her own people in these emails are losers. And then, and then Obama calls gun owners and Bible believers bitter clingers. Well, you've already taken everything else we've got. Obama goes to Africa and says you can't have cars or air conditioning. So that's the latest WikiLeaks, by the way. That thing's very weak compared to what was supposedly going to come out. They said last Monday, and it was going to, quote, and Tuesday was going to devastate Hillary. She would, quote, ha you know, be indicted. This would do it. And now the latest thing is her at Wall Street speeches talking trash about people and admitting she wants a world government and carbon taxes and the TPP. Well, was she? we know she called it the gold standard and bragged that she helped do the whole thing. And she claims, like Al Gore says he invented the Internet, she says she did the whole thing in speeches. We got video. So, I mean, what did WikiLeaks give us we didn't already know? I mean, I guess it's internal emails, but there's thousands of them, but folks have already poured through them. So the word is the signs got intimidated, got threatened, and didn't release the mother load, and that's too bad. Now that they feel safe on this, uh, they are uh, moving forward with their massive, massive destruction of Donald Trump that I will cover at the bottom of the hour. Now, if you just tuned in, 
I've been hosting radio for 21 years. I've been syndicated for 19. For 10 years, I've been doing a Sunday show. Because I noticed that nobody really broadcast on Saturday and Sunday. Drudge used to, and it was great. Used to always listen to it. And I thought to fill that vacuum, we should syndicate on Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. We've done that. It's been very successful. In fact, it was key to getting on a lot of big stations across the country. A lot of folks would stick their toe in the water, pick up the Sunday show. The listeners liked it, got ratings. See, it wasn't the end of the world. You picked Alex Jones up. Then they'd put us on at night. Then they'd put us on live. It, it, it's been a success. We get a jump on the news for the week. But today, when your station leaves us at 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Mountain, 4 o'clock Pacific, we will continue on. And some stations are carrying it. TV stations are carrying it. Everybody's free to air. Take part of it, take all of it, no contract needed, just pick it up if you want it, stations, you know that. We're just here to win this war against the globalist and wake up America. But if you go to Infowars.com forward slash show, or Infowars.com forward slash app, you can download the new free app on Droid and iPhone that has video, audio, news alerts are going to start in two weeks. A lot of other new stuff can be added to the app. It's a great new app. You can also watch the debate there because when this two hours ends that we've been doing for 10 years, two hours of further live coverage from our big TV studios. I'm going to walk across the hall as soon as this show's over, and then the full coverage for at least four hours of the debate begins. Two hours from 6 to 8 Central, then the 90-minute debate, and at least an hour of live coverage and highlights with Leanne McAdoo, David Knight, myself, and others. Uh, that's coming up, so we'll probably be live until like 11 o'clock, so I say six, six, seven hours. As long as we want to go tonight, Infowars.com forward slash show, Infowars.com forward slash app. But if you just tuned in, we have the leaked Democrats' plan to pin rape hoax on Trump. Now, people are saying, yeah, uh, what was it, eight, nine months ago, there were rape charges filed in a civil suit in Houston with a fake name. And then others got filed all over. And people ask, what's the point of filing these fake things? Because then it gives people cover to write books and articles saying, oh, we didn't know. It's in a lawsuit. You can say Jane Doe and then claim you saw Trump raping Easter bunnies on Pluto and then write a book about it. And then, again, they didn't launch this earlier because there's only 29 days left. They're going to launch this tomorrow. Watch. We have the dossier. They may change it up because of this. But they're going to launch. And, and, and by the way, when we got this info yesterday, we started getting it two days ago, all hell broke loose. I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, they are freaked. This is not where we were given this info. If they don't run with this tomorrow, it's because... We have released this, but but they're going to go with it. They're locked. They got a book being published. They're going to announce tomorrow that comes out Tuesday. Uh, they've got articles that are all about to hit. In fact, I heard about this on Friday. Got the documents Saturday, and by then it began to even kind of break as they tested the waters. So this is big. They are accusing Trump of what Jeffrey Epstein was involved with with Bill Clinton and the Lolita Express. Trump on record has been to one. Florida party that this guy was at and left immediately a couple years ago. Bill Clinton's registered in flight 16 times on the Lolita Express with Jeffrey Epstein. So they know Trump had this as his October surprise hydrogen bomb. Trump was induced not to drop it. He didn't launch the attack. The enemy's launching a counterfeit. And they're mixing it all in with a few Howard Stern comments of this other tape edited to give it plausible to uh, plausible believability. Stay with us. All right, I'm in the radio slash TV studio, the small studio for the next hour and 40 minutes. Then I'm going to walk over to the TV studio and host at least four or five hours. Two hours before the debate, right through the debate, uh, with limited commentary and analysis, and then at least an hour with your phone calls and commentary after this evening. This is make or break it for Donald Trump. They have hit him with, uh, obviously edited, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's still not something good to say as a family man. Uh, comments on a bus 11 years ago, clearly being asked questions. It's clearly edited. It's, it's, it's you know, the type of talk you hear in a locker room. They've taken it out of context, but he's apologized for it. But they made it the biggest issue in the world. Hillary got four people killed in Benghazi, ordered to stand down. Hillary is engaged in all these other crimes, sold out her sovereignty and been involved in espionage on the communist Chinese and Saudi Arabian and Qatari payroll. Uh, Hillary funds and supports jihadis, murdering Christians and women and sexually mutilating people, you name it. It goes on and on and on. And Bill Clinton has settled sexual assault cases. And the media totally ignores that and then acts like it is the end of the world when they dredge up 11-year-old tape 
on Trump. So here's the deal. If Trump needs to resign, and, and these so-called Republican senators that were always against Trump early on, they couldn't beat him, so their constituents got mad at him, so they had to then, the last four months, support Trump. They're now doubling back. CNN says the Republican Party turns against him. Thank God we're trying to take that over. I mean, not a word about JFK having sex with five, six women a day. Nothing about you reportedly killing Marilyn Monroe. All of that's okay. Nothing about Bill Clinton raping women. Oh, my gosh. He shot his mouth off about wanting you know, women, blah, 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 when he was divorced. So all of this is going on. We knew this was coming out. We knew Trump's not been an angel. He's never said he was. The guy's never taken an aspirin, doesn't drink, because his brother died of alcoholism. He reportedly likes eating big meals, and he likes his wives. And when he's not married, he's a womanizer. King David was a womanizer as well. King David had his best friend killed to get his woman. He later repented of it, and God said, you're a man of your own heart. I just want to tell all the phony Christians on power trips, because I'm a Christian, you know, I was out shooting a video up on a mountaintop, uh, you know, dealing with Trump better attack or drop out, same with the video. This guy walks over and he goes, are you a Christian, Alex? Very accusatorily. And I said, I'm not like the Pharisees that stood up on the mountain and prayed in public. He goes, what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, Christ said don't go pray in public and tell people how big you are and how Christian you are. And he beat the Pharisees with a whip. So, of course, I'm a Christian. But I'm not going to sit here with you like all accusatorily, like you're on the high mountain judging me on your power trip because you're all full of your garbage. Get the beam out of your eye before you tell me about the speck in mine. Promoting abortion, promoting globalism, promoting GMO, promoting world government, promoting cross-species chimeras. These are the blasphemies. But the devil's an accuser and wants to tell people that have done small things, you can't be a good person in the world because you do these little things. The average good person goes, okay, since I have a conscience and guilt, I'll just stand down in the world and then let the total evil take over. It's what you do now against the great evil of world government that proves your worth, ladies and gentlemen, and will save this civilization. Now, coming up after this break, I'm going to give you the big enchilada. The battle plan from a high-level Democratic Party operative who is so upset about the evil they're seeing and so upset about all the crazy stuff they see. And, and, and look, this is why a lot of Democrats are actually turning against Hillary, who are very liberal on a lot of issues that I even agree with on some issues, on some of the social issues. I understand. I'm not out to get people. I understand that some of the right-wing folks have just obsessed on things as their political diversion from all the things they're doing. But it's Hillary saying she wants war with Iran, and I'm not saying Iran's a perfect, but that she, quote, will attack Iran, and she, quote, will attack Russia. And the fact that Soros has this big flaming you-know-what for Russia that has our military upset and concerned, it has a lot of well-meaning, really smart, intellectual liberals like Cy Hirsch and others. And Cy Hirsch isn't my source. You know, Cy Hirsch has come on the show this year and tipped his hat to our work on the military stand down with, with you know, fighting for Al Qaeda and ISIS. They, you know, they've told Obama and Hillary we're not doing that. And as bad as Obama's been, I will say I believe Hillary's worse now because it's been Obama in memos and emails that have come out saying, no, we're not doing that. That'll start a war with Russia. And he's already allowed a lot of aggressive actions. But he did listen to our generals four years ago on not being Al-Qaeda slash ISIS's Air Force. Remember all that? We broke it here. Came out three years later, three and a half years later. All the secret stuff we told you was on record. Just like they were going to federalize the election. They announced it a month after we told you. Or just like we, you know, are, have folks all over the country shouting Bill Clinton's a rapist. That's now happened 14 times I know of. I mean, this show has power. I just want listeners to know you're out there all alone somewhere and have no idea how many brethren you've got of every race, color, and creed and both sexes. People are awake. They know what's going on. And you can see the huge train of death behind the Clintons and the Bushes, and that's what this is, this same dynasty. With a half million dead kids in Iraq with sanctions, the Clintons made worse, and bombing Serbia, and bombing Sudan, and blowing up their aspirin factories, and funding jihadi invasions of Sudan, and funding jihadi invasions of Kenya that Obama's been involved in. These are really anti-Christian bad people. So, to the liberals, to the conservatives, to the libertarians, to everybody, we all know we're not going to vote for the mentally deficient, in my view, Gary Johnson. I told you that before you saw him melt down. He flipped out in this very studio in front of me repeated times a year ago when he was here. I mean, I thought something was wrong with it. People said, really? We haven't seen that. And all of a sudden, he started doing it all over TV. 
sticking his tongue out, blacking out. I mean, I don't know what these people are on, okay? I don't know why Hillary's all spacing out and falling down, but they're on some weird stuff, okay? So what is Aleppo? Can't name one foreign leader. Sticks his tongue out over and over again. Starts going in circles. I don't, I don't know what this, what, what's going on with these people. But weird stuff's happening. We got a bunch of the folks today and tomorrow coming on that have been confronting Clinton and have been confronting uh, his surrogate uh, and, and, and Hillary's surrogate, Tim Kaine, on national TV. It's all coming up today. Roger Stone, separately, I called him about my data dump. He could only confirm from his New York sources, mine are in D.C., two of the things that I had in my data dump. But he said, that sounds very credible from what I'm hearing. And he's obviously been meeting with Trump hours every day there in New York. But I've confirmed this with other sources as well. This is coming up after the break. But then Stone's coming on with his inside baseball from another source very, very close on what Hillary is planning to do in the debate tonight. It's coming up in three and a half hours. So that's all coming up. And I want to go out to break. There's been two new confrontations the last two days. Well, a third and a fourth are coming in. We heard about it. We haven't gotten the videos yet, but two we know of. Uh, and this is pretty, pretty powerful stuff. Protesters taunt Bill Clinton at Milwaukee rally. He's been confronted three times now in the last week. DrudgeReport.com is linked to this. Two different people jump in when he brings up a key point. And then we've got another clip. Here it is. Nobody can dispute the fact that, you're a rapist. that we need... Bill Clinton is a rapist! <laughs> It goes on and on. We're going to come back with the rest of this in one more clip and then give you the big data dump. But listen, we initiated this, in, even though it's very dangerous. And I'm not saying, oh, look, I'm walking a tightrope for no reason. I'm not doing this to sell popcorn to the stands. I'm doing this to save my family and because, quite frankly, I'm not in control of myself. I've turned myself over to the will of God. I'm telling the truth from the very end. I'm going up against these people 110%. I'm Alex Jones. Donald Trump's got to attack tonight or drop out. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to finish up with these clips with the latest folks confronting the Clintons over their history of sexual crimes, sexual abuse, and Hillary being the beard uh, to play the part of the woman to go after uh, the women that Bill has accused, including physically attacking them, threatening them, women that Clinton's gotten pregnant, uh, physically attacking the baby, uh, trying to cause the woman to have a miscarriage. Uh, these witnesses, these articles are all on Infowars.com. Breitbart.com, it's, it's, it's all coming out. Uh, but I covered this stuff all 20 years ago. This is well known. We've got big surprises this week with in-studio guests all throughout next week. So believe me when I tell you, you do not want to miss next week's Monday through Friday broadcast because the biggest breaking news for this republic you've ever seen in our bombshell after bombshell broadcast this week is looking to be the creme de la creme, the coup de grace, the final blow. This is big. To say I'm on pins and needles is an understatement. I, I, I eat, sleep, dream, you name it, what's happening. Now let's go back to the clip I was just playing of just yesterday. There's a new clip today. Protesters taunt Bill Clinton at Milwaukee rally. And the full 30-minute rally is up there. He starts talking about one thing we do know is, and two different gentlemen, they both look like veterans, start shouting out, and they've got Bill Clinton rape shirts, that Bill Clinton's a rapist, and he has settled sexual assault cases. Now, again, Trump wouldn't go here. He did like three months ago on Hannity. He wouldn't go here when Hillary was like, you once called a beauty pageant person Miss Peggy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you funded jihadis to take over worldwide and sexually mutilate women and kill hundreds of thousands of Christians. You know, General Flynn, the head of defense intelligence, exposed you. I mean, it's like you once, you know, yelled at your child. And Trump's like, okay, you once barbecued children. I mean, it, it's totally different worlds. Like, there's a graphic on Infowars.com we should show at the bottom that everybody's saying is the, the best ever. And it uh, shows three big mountains in the background. One, Hillary Clinton email scandal is a giant mountain. Another snow... Top Mountain is Clinton Foundation scandal. Another snow top mountain is Hillary Benghazi scandal. And it shows the Washington Post, owned by Bezos and, and the, run by Obama, basically. Washington Post reporters, about 15 of them, with a magnifying glass looking at a molehill, like a fire ant hill. 
And I mean, I'm sorry, I don't like hearing Trump. It sounds a little punkish, but we all know guys, most guys do that. They're in the locker room, somebody brings up sex to them. Oh, did you see this hot lady? Oh, yeah, man, she's so hot. Yeah, boy, I'd really like to get her. I mean, everybody knows the real uh, womanizers just keep their mouth shut. But the point is, is that it's no big deal. I mean, I want to think of Trump better as that, better than that. And this was 11 years ago. And he says he's grown on the campaign trail. And I've talked to folks that know Trump. I've talked to Trump, as you know, quite a bit. I've talked to other people. I'll just leave it at that, involved with Trump. And he's really got the concerned about the new world order. Trump really knows about globalism and how the U.S. is being screwed over. 25 years ago, he gave money to try to defeat Naftim Gat. He wrote big op-eds, paid to put them in the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. He really doesn't like seeing the, the, the country get screwed. He's a great guy. and He's got the establishment scared of it. But that's a New York thing. I mean, I don't want to say he's like Wiener. I mean, Wiener's 50 times worse, but you want to stereotype New Yorkers? I mean, it, I've been to New York a lot. They're great people. They're very full of hospitality. Uh, and a lot, you think of New Yorkers not having hospitality, but if they like it, they're full of hospitality. Buying you dinner, you know, taking you here, giving you a great apartment to stay in, giving you tickets to a great player, you know, the to the Mets or the Yankees. And it's exactly like that. Oh, this girl, I like her, boy, she's great. I mean, that's what Yankees do. It's very Yankee. And I love Yankees. I mean, we want somebody that's got bravada, somebody's going to get in the face of the globalists, somebody that's bigger than life, and I'm sorry, John Wayne was a womanizer. I'm sorry. You know who else was a womanizer? Pretty much everybody that's an alpha male, okay? I mean, it goes with the territory, and I'm not forgiving. But no one has ever accused him of pedophilia. No one has ever accused him of underage women. And you look at Trump, and I know folks that know him, because we knew this attack was coming months ago, Trump likes big, aggressive, Amazon, beyond Marilyn Monroe. I mean, I mean, let me tell you, you start getting into six foot one women, that's a little much for me. I like the full, you know, 35, 40 year old boom, vava boom. I mean, I know what men are like that like real women. I'm one of them. I like the whole nine yards. Trump goes beyond that. To women, they're almost so female, they're scary. He ain't into women. Uh, I mean, he's not into little girls, he's into women. And the whole point is, is that he's not into your average woman. He wants the Amazon. A whole different spectrum from what creepy people like Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Clinton's best buddy, who founded the Clinton Foundation is. So we're going to play these clips, and I'm going to start getting in to the Democratic Party dossier dump that we have. This is huge. It's important. And... Nine times out of ten, our big scoops end up hitting pay dirt. There's been a few times I've been chumped, and I talk to the people involved. Uh, he, he said it. I mean, WikiLeaks has never not paid off. They've never not done what they say they do. And he said, I'm going to release information that will get her indicted in the next two weeks. A month later, he hadn't done it. And he says, okay, in two weeks. Two weeks later, he hadn't done it. Then a week later, he says, I'll release it Wednesday. Then he said, I've gotten death threats for concern, cons security concerns. I'm canceling it. Then he announces, now I'm going a day early on Tuesday via Skype to some German group. And I know people that talk to Assange. I've seen copies of the emails, okay? And he said, yes, I'm releasing it. Then he got threatened. They promised him some deal. They backed off the deal. They're playing games with him, folks, stalling until they drop their payload on Trump. And they've now done it. And now it doesn't matter what WikiLeaks puts out, does it, because they've already launched their big attack. And sure enough, they put out their stuff Friday, same day, same day. They put out all this Trump sex baloney, you know what gate, pussycat gate, and all of this goes on, all of this unfolds, all of this happens, and they release some stuff with her at corporation, stuff we already knew. I mean, she, she's for NAFTA, she's for GATT, she's for the TPP, she said she wrote part of the TPP. Now they say 100,000 more are coming, let's see. I'm tired of being dangled along here. We're 29 days out, they got Trump hanging out there on, you know, flapping in the wind. Now, I'm going to come back and give you the big data dump, but right now let's go to protesters talk Bill Clinton at Milwaukee rally. Here it is. Nobody can dispute the fact that, you're a rapist. that we need... Bill Clinton is a rapist! Holding up the 
the PDFs of the right. These are great Patriots. These guys are great Patriots. Yeah, those guys are getting 5,000. Yeah, I'm paying 5,000 per person that does it. 1,000 if you just get the sign on TV for five seconds. Those are great Patriots. We're already at about 25,000. So we got another 75,000 we can give out, and then my budget's gone. Oh, give back good. Be loving to him. And when they throw you out, he says, oh, you don't want to be part of the conversation. He steals 97% of the money from the Haitian refugees when they bomb Belgrade, back jihadis. He's loving. He's Bill Clinton. He cares about you. Hillary Clinton doesn't even give people tips, folks. This is how monstrous she is. Uh, we are going to go to break now. We have another clip of another lady in St. Louis, side of the debate coming up uh, in uh, three hours and 15 minutes. She got on TV shouting, Bill Clinton's a rapist with the shirt. But before I get to that, I have to come back and give you the Democratic Party attack plan, data dump from our Democratic Party high-level source that's worried about World War III. That's why we were given this information. As we tell you, Hillary Clinton wants World War III. She is a psychotic demon. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Jones. I know most of you are conscious of this, but especially if you're listening to us on Amber FM stations, you should tell your friends, your neighbors, your family, your coworkers to tune in. This is really earth-shattering, uh, important information we're about to cover. And you can also tell folks who are going to be watching the debate mainstream. We've, we've licensed to carry the debate ourselves. Uh, we're going to have live feeds of it tonight. Uh, coming up at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern, and then after the debate, we're going to have live analysis for several hours after. So this is starting now, 47 minutes ago, running right till past 10 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Eastern, tonight at Infowars.com forward slash show. You can also download our free app that has free podcasts, live video feeds, and audio feeds. So watch the show wherever you are, even in foreign countries, or listen to it at Infowars.com forward slash show, Infowars.com forward slash show. Yeah. Briefly, we have several specials that are going to end next week. We have uh, the new uh, DNA Force uh, flagship product, 23% off uh, the Bio PQQ, the CoQ10, and a lot of other key enzymes that help you absorb it better. There's 170 plus studies just behind the Bio PQQ to detoxify your cells, the ultimate antioxidant. Uh, there's no such thing as a fountain of youth, but this is as close as you're going to get to it. Uh, find out why it's so amazing. DNA Force discounted 23%. Read the five-star reviews from third-party sites. We're linked to at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com. And we have uh, seven years of the making, what we believe is the ultimate uh, system of 50 billion live and active cultures from 23 different probiotic strains with biome defense product that, again, is such an amazing amazing system to get your gut flora uh, in line. This is the ultimate probiotic, InfoWarsLife.com. Sign up for auto ship, an additional 10% off. Orders $50 or more, you get free shipping. We also have the InfoWars Solar Base Station and Control System, one of the most modern, high-tech, high-quality systems, which is less money than the average system. We go out and find the very best. Uh, it lasts eight times longer than your typical unit because it uses unique lithium iron phosphate battery and more infowarsstore.com 33% off on that amazing unit and that's what funds this operation our reporters we've got popping in later from st louis before and after the debate tonight they're going to be there covering it live uh, our crew around the world from the united kingdom uh, to california that is the true independent media organization that we are setting up here and then launching operations with citizen activists to expose the rape history and settling rape cases that Bill Clinton has. People are like, man, you got big huevos. You know what? It takes bigger huevos to let these criminals run things and start wars with other countries. My very gut, my spirit tells me I've got to fight as hard as I can. Where the chips fall, that's just up to God. I put myself into God's hands. I commit my soul to God, and I know full well what I'm doing. I'm not going to let them snatch my victory. Whatever happens, I did the right thing. People keep telling me, you know the Clintons kill people. You know they're really dangerous. You know they'll, they've already come after me before, folks. I'm committed. Just recognize it for what it is. I'm not trying to act like Mr. Tough Guy here. Well, actually, an introverted person in private. Uh, but I've got to get on the field. I've got to fight these people, and I'm doing it. So it's done. The die's cast. I'm going 110%. Forget the maneuvers. I'm going straight at them. That's when Providence kicks in, in my experience. Okay.
I'll start covering it now with a basic summation, a basic boil down, and then I'll go through it all and then sum it all up. But how do you begin? Where do you start? Let's start at the beginning. And I'll give you the entire attack plan the Democrats have the next 29 days till the historic election in this epic countdown that we are all witnessing. Before I get into their data dump and what they're about to launch tomorrow and the next day, let me just remind you we're given this information because even high-level Democrats are concerned about Hillary and her mental illness, her tantrums, her, her, her convulsions. It's like the Secret Service told us she was falling down and she has a black van with special rising systems a month before it was in the news. This isn't from the Secret Service. This is from a high-level Democrat. And it's because they're, they're really concerned that Hillary is a megalomaniac going to kill everybody with World War III. And everybody in their gut is on edge, folks. Now, let me give you background first, why they're doing this. What are the Clintons' Achilles heel? Being espionage agents, selling out the country. Yeah, but folks know about that. Lying about emails. Okay, but we know about that. They want to make it all about how women love Hillary. She represents the women and builds this angel and our first black president and all this other bull. So let's go back to the New York Post. The sex slave scandal that exposed pedophile billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. Okay? That's one article. There's thousands. Fox News. Flight logs show Bill Clinton flew on sex offenders jet much more than previously known. And they don't normally, one of these big private jets, make you log through Homeland Security or other governments. But when they did, it was 16 different occasions. That's total flights. Bill Clinton took twice as many flights on pedophile island billionaires Lolita Express than previously reported. Remember, Lolita is a book about a man's love affair with a 13-year-old girl. Okay. He founded the Clinton Foundation, the huge money laundering operation, but guilty to one charge of pedophilia, but all the rest of it got shut down. And the madam that ran it all for him, they all got immunity, just like the FBI just did for Hillary and her people on the emails. Bill Clinton ditched Secret Service on multiple Lolita Express flights. Report. Wonder why he did that. I did not have sex with those 10-year-old girls. Bill Clinton was frequent flyer on pedophile private jet Lolita Express. RT. Washington Post. The billionaire pedophile who could bring down Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Oh, the Daily Beast. Now, this was all over a year ago, I discovered. Now we start seeing this, because Donald Trump, two miles from his club, was invited to a party, gets there. There's like underage girls jumping around a pool. He thinks it's weird. I heard about this over two years ago. He leaves. That's all they've got. But they mix it all in together, okay? That's Daily Beast. That's the what was it? Newsweek. All right, here's Daily Mail. Exclusive. The cozy relationship between billionaire Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton, who flew in the pedophile's private jet and once praised his insights and generosity, detailed in a new book by James Patterson. The shameful way feds protect convicted pedophile billionaire Jeffrey Epstein. Law news. Now, they basically covered it all up. Just like we just saw for the Clintons. Okay, so we have that information. We know Trump likes six foot one supermodels that are 30 years old. That's his type. That's what he goes after. you got the Clinton settling rape cases, Hillary covering up for pedophile cases. This is all on record. It's going to come up in the debate tonight of Trump counterpunches. That's what I've been told. And again, Roger Stone joins us later. He's not part of this data dump. When Roger Stone joins us later, he reportedly, and he's been right 15 times out of 16. He's been wrong once. On the whole WikiLeaks thing, that's because, admittedly, Sanj backed off. You're going to get what he's been told she's planning to do in the debate. In fact, we were questioning, do we just let this go forward, announce it as the debate begins, so we can prove we have the inside scoop, or do we say it an hour before so Hillary gets cold feet and doesn't use this? Because believe me, they're watching. You've heard her attack as Media Matters Room of the White House, Right Wing Watch Room of the White House, and Soros. I mean, they watch every minute of what we do. They have books commissioned about us that are out. I mean, it is redonkulous. So we've got all that going on. Now, let me tell you what's coming up as soon as we come back in the next segment. I have, and this isn't breaking until tomorrow, I have the lawsuits filed against Donald Trump claiming with Mr. Epstein that they double-teamed little kids. 
Now, Epstein's already been given basically immunity after his little slap on the wrist. So is the rest of his crew. Now they've been given their deal by the FBI. Now they can say anything they want, including that they saw Donald Trump raping Easter bunnies, Santa Claus, Mother Teresa. They saw him slitting babies' throats. They saw him sacrificing babies. They saw him, well, what they say is double-teaming little kids, okay? Sorry to talk about stuff like this on a family show, but this is what's going on. And we have what they're planning, who they're going to release it, how it's going to unfold, who's involved, everything. I was told this by another source a couple of weeks ago, because these people talk. There's leaks everywhere, but I was given the data dump because people are so scared. And they said, listen, all we care about is World War III. And people are really going, man, why do we fund jihadis to kill Christians? I mean, there are a lot of good Democrats, good liberals out there who are really, really upset. So judge sets date for hearing of lawsuits, Donald Trump of underage rape. See, seven hours ago. I, I told you yesterday, that's the only independent. I told you yesterday, in the early afternoon, 20-something hours before that broke. See, I didn't even know that broke. I told you, raping children... And now, the, see, you just, you just heard. A judge came in on the weekend and set the date. This is breaking as I speak. And we're forcing their timetable on all of this right now. Hell, we even had Roger Stone on a year ago talking about this and said it was coming. We got to find that clip. That, that really documents it all when he brought all this up. And then I had these other sources, and they, they're just totally freaked out because I know it's totally made up. And, and, and so get ready. They primed the pump with Howard Stern clips and him joking around the bus, just jock talk. I, I don't think it's particularly good, but I mean, give me a break. It's nothing compared to what Clinton does, actually raping people. And now it primes the pump for this. Now we have several of the valiant Americans that have gone out to Clinton Easter events with Bill Clinton at them, you name it. Uh, Tim Kaine and in front of Bill Clinton on his sexual crimes. One of those gentlemen is joining us coming up in the next segment. I'll continue with all this news uh, as well. We're going to have coverage of the debate coming up tonight, uh, coming up in three hours, right through the debate, after the debate, Infowars.com forward slash show. A lot of TV and radio stations are obviously going to extend coverage, continue carrying the broadcast in about an hour. I'm going to go into the other studio, start hosting from the big TV studio with my co-host and other guests. But understand, it is my duty to expose the Clintons and their narcotics trafficking. They're selling us out to foreign powers. They are international criminals like James Bond villains. So we just joined us. I exposed Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein and the FBI covering up and slapping him on the wrist and Bill Clinton flying to the pedophile island. But now, after Epstein's been cut out of this and given diplomatic immunity basically by the globalists, by the FBI, document cam for TV viewers, please. We have the United States District Court, Southern District of New York. They waited till right before, 29 days out. They're going to launch this tomorrow, 20 days out, 28 days out show that it'll never get to court by then and, of course, get thrown out. Now, they launched a few of these with fake names in Houston and other things eight and ten months ago to be able to give plausible deniability to the media and authors to write books about the fake filings to give it cover. Okay? That's why the Jesse Ventura ruling was so important when he was found to have been slandered and libeled. But then the courts reversed it and said, well, you're not allowed to get you know, unjust enrichment. So, yeah, a quarter million has to be paid, but no damages. So you can tell a lie that gives you the presidency, but only pay a quarter million, not 50 million or 30 million or 10 million. And all the big media signed on to this because, folks, this is how dirty they are now. So you have to understand, you can't trust them. And they allege under the name Jane Doe. So Jane Doe could say, again, that they caught me raping a baby xenomorph. A xenomorph is the alien of the movie Alien. It's not true, but whatever. So now Jane Doe has come out and said that they were raped 22 years ago. Yes, you heard me. In 1994. And magically, it was a girl at a bus station with the madam who's already been given immunity. And then she told some other woman about it. A madam given immunity by the FBI who reportedly is supplying Epstein with all this stuff. A person supplying underage girls to Epstein, who's now pled guilty. So they've all been given a deal. And then told some woman 20 years ago, wow, wow, that's really 
bombshell, isn't it? So they bring out his dirty talk, talking about a married woman or whatever. Not good, not seemly. We know we're not going for a Boy Scout here. We never said he was. He's been honest. Whatever. We got that going on. And now on the heels of this, boom, the lawsuit's filed. And then boom, the judge just today, I didn't know they worked on the weekend, but notice it's breaking today. It was supposed to break tomorrow, but I broke it yesterday. So now the normal papers that put it out today, it's now coming out less than 24 hours after I told you. We should have jumped on this even earlier. I knew about it earlier, but I wonder all the documents. Declaration in support of plaintiff's record. This is Jan Doe, the reported madam, the supplier. We're supposed to believe her. She got the girl 22 years ago at a bus stop for Epstein and Trump to double team her. You believe that? I got a rocket I'm going to sell you. But another one. A declaration in support of plaintiff's claim. Tiffany Doe, some woman says she supposedly told her that. So she cooperates 22 years ago. This happened. We got them all signed. Look, Joan Doe signed it. I mean, you might as well have Keebler Elf signing this thing. This is amazing. The show, folks, as we go out to break, uh, this shot right here. We got Joan Doe. You know, we played the clip before, but I've had multiple MSNBC hosts say, quote, Alex Jones is deeply racist and influenced the Boston Bombers. We would have a promo where we play that clip, and uh, they don't then show where I influenced the Boston Bombers or where I'm deeply racist. So I've experienced this stuff where they make stuff up about you. So we now have Donald J. Trump and Jeffrey E. Epstein, Epstein being listed in the Southern District of New York by a Jane Doe and a Tiffany Doe. And, and then look, a, a Joan Doe, all these Doe's saying 22 years ago at a bus stop, an underage girl is picked up. And taken by the madam, who now swears this on against Trump, who's already pled guilty. We think this is the same madam. We're not sure. But this is their witness. But we know there was a madam earlier with, with Epstein who did, but then got let off and was given immunity. With another person she talked to about it later. And there's Donald Trump going after. This is incredible. Double teaming. Supposedly, this is how they brought down the Vatican and installed the new pope that wants world government and carbon taxes. This is how they take down all these institutions is with sex scandals. You have Clinton settling rape cases. You have Clinton 16 times flying on the Lolita Express with Epstein. You have his FBI, his government protecting him and giving him a slap on the wrist, as well as the madam and others. You have all of this unfolding. And now you've got a bunch of secret people announcing this. You have the Clintons committing all these crimes, overthrowing countries, funding radical jihadistical Christians. You have all of this going on 24-7. And we knew they were coming up with a big October surprise, and we knew that the weakness of the Clintons was the sexual abuse and the reported pedophilia. And I'm about to get the final information and get to our next guest. And when Roger Stone joins us, separate from the Democratic Party insider, we're going to have what supposedly is coming up in the debate tonight. We'll see if this happens, but according to a source, that's high level. But understand, they're going to release more supposed dirty talk of Trump when all these scumbags are totally dishonest recording. I mean, I love how the reporter who recorded him said, I'm sorry I didn't release this myself. I apologize. You're sitting there with some guy on a bus asking about girls. He's talking about this really hot lady he saw. And then this is the big evil. Where they make, be, make being a male evil. I, I mean, I don't talk like that. But the point is, I don't know, over the years, I guess the people recorded me every time they were around me. I might have shot my mouth off or made some jokes or said things. I mean, occasionally you're not yourself. But what Trump said is he said, listen. I've, I've changed on this campaign. I've never lied about the fact that I'm not perfect and love women. I mean, he, it's not like we're trying to elect Mother Teresa here. We know Bill Clinton rapes women. It's come out. We know he lies to us. We know he bombs aspirin factories in Sudan to cover it up. We know they're sold out to foreign interests. We know they're sold out to the communist Chinese. We know the whole power structure that we claim we don't want is against Trump. Because they know he never has played ball with them. Never once been on Jeffrey Epstein's plane, none of it. So let's go through the rest of the articles. 
We have all these anonymous people, three of them, coming out. But we've even got the Associated Press. Donald Trump pedo lawsuit refiled, accusing presidential candidate of raping girl 13 at 1994 party. Now, they followed under another girl's name that was fake in Houston, again, what was it, nine, ten months ago. That's to be able to start writing the book so you don't get sued. Oh, I got it, no Jane Doe lawsuit. They got a book being published tomorrow. Just watch. Claiming all this, just perfectly all lined up. Here's another one. It smacks of a political smear job. Ex-Trump aide tears apart rape lawsuit. That's how to radar online. Billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein created Clinton Foundation. Big article uh, on that. Everybody should go look that up. It's a fact. Daily Mail. It is a fact. This is a Clinton kingpin. But it doesn't matter. The guy that created the thing has been convicted pedophile. Let's blame Donald Trump because they knew that Trump was going to bring this up. And then somehow Trump got convinced not to bring it up earlier. He, he, he was advised to in the last debate. And he just... His daughter talked to Chelsea, and Keir Lurie promised to be nice if he would, and she betrayed him. And I don't know why Trump did that. He got induced by the New York folks to be nice and don't go there, and she set him up. you got to go after them first. They're on the planes. They settle the cases. Everybody knows they're liars. Everybody knows he's a pervert. And you waited to try to be a nice guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then the really scary article out of the Free Bacon, the Clintons and the Sultan have a history. The Clintons and the Sultan of Brunei have a history. And then it just goes into his whole background and Clinton flying there on the pedophile plane to meet for days, get $2 million checks. I mean, this guy reportedly has a harem of little boys and girls, I and mean, the Saudis do too. But that's okay that Hillary gets $100 million from the Saudis. It's okay that she finances all this and hangs out with Jay-Z and folks that, you know, brag about orgies and everything, and Kanye and whoever else these people are. It's okay, but, but see, Trump, he shot his mouth off about loving women. If Jeffrey Epstein's non-prosecution agreement is overturned, Clinton ties to teen sex scandal could be exposed. Daily Caller. Well, don't worry. Just pin it on Donald Trump and then make sure the puppet Hillary gets in and the elite will have a blackmailed minion who has nothing to lose, who's mentally ill, who's totally sick, they got to roll around, who will do anything. You'll put a queen in who will follow your orders to do anything, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. So that's where we stand. The plan is to smear him with pedophilia. When the Clintons are the ones on the airplane and the ones going to the known reported pedophile Sultan, and that's their plan. And we all have a 90-minute debate coming up from St. Louis in two hours and 45 minutes. And we're going to be here right through it, live covering it, infowars.com forward slash show. Share that link to friends, family, neighbors, so people online can watch it. They can watch it on their smart TV, their TiVo, uh, their Boxy, their Roku, or Infowars.com forward slash app for the new free app that has video, audio, radio mode, and a lot of new functions about to get added in the next few weeks. Infowars.com forward slash app. Now I'm going to go to break. He's waiting in the wings. He was the slickest of them all when MSNBC came up to him a few days ago and said, why are you here at the Trump rally? And he laid out the facts about Hillary Clinton. Talked to this gentleman straight ahead. Then Roger Stone's coming on with his inside scoop. And, and he's been right. I say 15 out of 16 times, more like 20 out of one time. Um, you know, he, he was told this by the WikiLeaks folks, and WikiLeaks said, we're going to get her indicted, we're about to release it. They strung everybody along, and they didn't do it. Report was they got threats, and I said, okay, they'll probably release milk toast. And they did release milk toast on Friday. We know she's already wants globalism in the North American Union. We already know she wants open borders. We already know she helped write the TPP, but it's all in her emails now. It's all more has come out, but it's not the stuff that get her indicted. We were promised. So we're, we're, we're going to continue to dig through all this. But the real activism is getting to people, friends and family that are on the fence, that don't know what's happening. Because Hillary probably still going to lose. They've got big polls out, the L.A. Times. They've got Gallup polls out showing Trump lost about half a point the last three days on this, if you believe it. People pretty much decided who they're going to vote for. And Trump's ahead in most battleground states. But they want to have the perception he lost or make him step down or make him go away. And while all the Republicans that tried to get him to step down, 
During the primaries, when they said, oh, your vote doesn't count and all that, that didn't fly. Their constituents were so mad, they had to play possum and clan them for Trump. Now they're going to use this excuse, just like the Bushes saying they're going to vote for, for, for Hillary, to say, see, we told you so. Glenn Beck was told when he went to the Facebook meeting. We're going to shut down talk radio in 2017. We're going to shut down Matt Drudge, InfoWars, Breitbart. Hillary's now said the alt media doesn't have a right to exist. Alt-right. And so he thinks it won't matter if he's a pariah with conservatives because he'll be the only conservative left. He'll be like, you know, the, you know, they left two or three Jews alone in Nazi Germany to still be on you know, radio and, and in films to make everybody think everything was okay. Same thing. He thinks, hell, I'll, this is how I'll get my monopoly. They're going to arrest Alex Jones and Matt Drudge and Rush Limbaugh or shut them down. Or have, they already had a coup at Fox. I mean, you know, Megyn Kelly, all of them sold out to Judas. We're going to come back with uh, our guest straight ahead, Peter Miller. Powerful information confronting the Clintons. Ladies and gentlemen, InfoWars is on the offense. We know that Bill Clinton has settled many rape cases. That's on record. We know there's a whole flotilla of women saying he brutally raped them and witnesses. And now they're going to counter the Clinton's biggest weakness with having the person the feds control who pled guilty, who they let off for almost nothing, like a year in jail, for sex slavery, flying little kids to an island, with Bill Clinton reportedly, sultans, you name it, by having basically Epstein come out and say he raped kids with Trump. That's, that's their October surprise. It shows what these criminals will do. There is no end to it. And if the public is dumb enough to believe a convicted pedophile that flies around with Bill Clinton on a plane and believe the Clintons, I didn't have sex with that woman, it was a kid, then, then you will believe anything. And Roger Stone's coming up to talk about this and a lot more in the next segment. But Peter Miller is taking action. He was in Colorado a few days ago. There have now been 14 people. Get on national TV, confront Bill Clinton. Hillary's had to stop her events because of it, or health. Um, events that Tim Kaine's at. It is really freaking him out. But also, it, it, live TV, Fox News, MSNBC, Matt Lauer. It's all happening. 14 I know of. Putting the meme out there that, no, it's not about cheating on his wife like they're claiming Trump's done or talking about women. That's a red-blooded American right there. Sorry, that's just how it is. I mean, it's not a crime. I'm not saying it's a good thing. But they're trying to change the subject on to Trump right now, and it's ridiculous. He's just call her out and go, big deal. I called a beauty contestant fat because she got big and wouldn't go out and do her job. I cut her contract. Just like if a football player can't perform. And big deal, I, sh I should have done that. What the hell are you doing recording me in secret? That's the bigger issue. You're the one enabling a raper and funding jihadis worldwide. Now, Peter Miller is incredible. Uh, I saw him on his big uh, Ask Me Anything Reddit, reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the underscore Donald. And he'll be with us a little bit in the next segment. Roger Stone's coming on as well. I want to invite him back up for a full 30 minutes later in the week because we're so limited on time tonight with all this breaking news. We have the other guy. Uh, who was in Nevada and like for two minutes is screaming a rapist on ABC National News. This is These are great patriots who I want to probably try to hire as auxiliary reporters. But Peter Miller, here he is, just real quick, real clean on MSNBC, the most slick of all of them, probably the way it should be done. And then we've got Donald inviting him up a few days ago on stage showing he knows what a great job these folks are doing with our initiative. Here it is. Man, or maybe he didn't perform very well in some of his business endeavors. But I think one of the kind of the things that we really need to be looking at in this debate is that Bill Clinton is a rapist. Infowars.com. Infowars.com. Bill Clinton's a rapist. Bill okay. Clinton is a rapist. All right. Bill Clinton, rapist. So the, the, he, he knew that he had a, a minute. That's how he wanted to use his time. We hear some Good. So let's go ahead now. This is a chain reaction, folks. A chain reaction all over the country, all over the world. We're not stopping. Mainstream media wants to cover up the rape, send protesters to Trump events. We're sending patriots to their events and, and Trump events as well to expose this. Culture jamming. So, Peter Miller, here's one more clip of Trump inviting him up on stage a few days later to recognize what he did. on to thank him. If Donald Trump's a pedophile, I'm going to cut my right arm off. I mean, just everything about me tells me he's good, his history, the fact that the elites hate him, never flew on the plane, 
when Dewan Epstein party buys golf cars, was there like 15 minutes. We talked about that a year ago. We said this was coming. And then they blame him for pedophilia and have Jane Doe's file a deal. This is so big, folks. This is so dirty. Just like they say, he never was against the Iraq war. We have six clips, three the year of it, three right before it saying, don't do it, it's a bad idea. The media says, no, you don't. Lester Holt says, no, you don't. Peter Miller, thank you so much, my friend. Wow, uh, it's crazy. Talk about what you did, what other folks are doing, the chain reaction, and uh, you know the behind the scenes that got you invited up on stage with Trump. Hey, hey, Alex. Hey, great to be here. Just want to say thank you again for having me on. Uh, thank you for plugging the Donald. Just quick thing, too. I wanted to uh, plug RSBN.TV. They're the good guys who go out and film, film all of uh, Donald's uh, rallies. So Absolutely. And the right side broadcasting. So, yep. Right side broadcasting. They're true patriots out there. They're a great uh, media outlet. Love the work they do. It's how I can uh, follow Donald from home wherever I go. Uh, it's really great, great to be able to see him up there in front of tens of thousands of people uh, telling how we're going to uh, put our foot down on the necks of globalism. Talk about, I mean, I mean, you did it very smoothly, very slickly. Some of these are hardcore. I mean, this is really, this is getting wild. How big do you think this will get with folks saying Bill Clinton's a rapist? Oh, I think it gets huge. I think it will, uh, you know, once your uh, stockpile of cash dries up, I think the message uh, will still be out there. I think after a certain point, people have to recognize we're not doing it for the money. We're doing it to spread the truth. And that's what the most important thing is. Uh, you know, they try to slander Donald. He says this, he says that. But you know what? At the end of the day, Bill Clinton is the guy who did it. And you What know, do you make of this inversion of reality? No history, no claims in 40-something years as an adult of rape. And now oh, the very people Clinton works fine. with that founded his foundation that he flies around on the rape plane with, they're having Jane Doe say it's Trump raping kids. It's, it's bogus. It's bogus. I've heard these allegations for so long. If you go back and you see the records, Bill Clinton's, what, flown 20-some-odd times? Uh, so it was 16. Years. You're right. It's 20. I'm sorry. 16, it's now 24. 20, 20, no, 20. it was 16, then 20. Then it's 24. You're right. It's 24. Going all the way out there to, you know, to uh, rape island, pedophile island, uh, whatever you want to call it. He does his three-hour tour. He gets his jollies off. Uh, and yet, at the end of the day, here we are talking about Donald Trump some statements he made years ago. And I just think, uh, you know, once again, it's the mainstream media trying to uh, beat their false, uh, beat their drum, uh, try to cause a disturbance, trying to say things about Donald, that he's this, that, or the other. And even what's even more disturbing is just the, uh, the conservatives who are really backing off of Donald. Uh, Paul Ryan up in Wisconsin. Oh, they, I, all, I, they were forced by constituents to support him. They've always been double dealers. Oh, yeah. They, they've been out for Donald from the from the start. I mean, they were just looking for one more reason to try to put their, you know, to try to put their foot in the ground. They're but the I ones think, we should get rid of. And, and no matter what happens oh, to Donald, this is all a sign of the sea change. You guys are gone. Look, we're going to throw out this is we're going to throw out the Second Amendment. We're going to overturn the Supreme Court all because Donald Trump said he was gra going to grab her by the pussy. Is that really the hill that we want to stand and die on? I mean, that's where we are in this country. No, it's like Capital he didn't want to sell us out to China, but once behind, you know, in a locker room talk, he talked about a woman. I mean, it's a joke, and I'm, I'll be honest. I'm hardly ever like that, but every once in a while I get in a mood and I shoot my mouth off and act like a punk, and I kind of feel weird later, but haven't we all done that? Hey, any, any one of us with high levels of testosterone has done that. I, I can confirm that. Yeah, I mean, I can't be a hypocrite. I mean, he, I mean, he sounds like I did when I was 16. But I mean, no, I'm not I, trying to be mean to New Yorkers, but I mean, the talk, that's kind of New York culture, is it not? I mean, anybody's been in New York a I lot? Think, I mean, that's how the guys talk. I, I think it's culture throughout the country. I think it's... Uh, no, I agree, but isn't it worse? Well, isn't it worse like in New Jersey and New York? Uh, it might be. It might I mean, be. I'm not bashing New York like Ted Cruz did. I'm just saying that's where I, that's pretty routine up there. I mean, it's just kind of cultural. Uh oh, hey, yeah. basket of deplorables. I'm going to come back and finish up with you, then Roger Stone. Can I, can I, I got a basket. Yeah, yeah, we're going to come right back. We're going to do a few more minutes with you. Uh, the great patriots out there exposing and Roger Stone with exclusive on what's coming up in the debate tonight. This is bombshell. Now, we're about to go to Roger Stone here in about five minutes. He'll run shot in with us a little bit in the next hour. Normally, if you tune in on Sunday, we go 4 to 6 p.m. Central. The show's over. We're going well past 10 p.m. tonight. If your station stops covering us in 35, you know, 30 minutes, Infowars.com forward slash show infowars.com forward slash app you get the free app we have an updated app that has video and audio feeds and podcasts and a lot more infowars.com forward slash app and spread the word everybody you know 
to get real analysis on this debate and real inside baseball. We're going to Rogerstown in a moment. Now, I have my separate data dump from a Democratic Party high-level person. This is, this is high-level. I'm going to talk to Stone here in a moment. I talked to him earlier today, and he, he knew about parts of it, but I'm going to see what he can confirm or what his analysis is. But he said, I have more separately on the debate tonight. Now, by bringing this out, it may make Hillary not do it, but this is what he was told they're planning to do. So we're talking to Roger Stone here in just a moment. Uh, we've got another fellow joining us later in the next hour who also went and stood there uh, in Nevada and screamed for like three minutes. Bill Clinton's a rapist live on ABC News. So he's going to be popping up. Uh, but going back to Jeremy, uh, who's uh, joining us, uh, Spangle, right now, or, or, or excuse me, uh, uh, Peter Miller, then, then Jeremy Spangle's joining us after Roger Stone. He's the guy in Nevada. Peter was in Colorado. Trump invited him up on stage to add other points because this movement, 14 people now on national TV, many others that didn't get on national TV are saying, hey, you're accusing Trump of sex stuff. We knew this was coming. What about Bill Clinton settling rape cases? Uh, other points, sir. Other points you'd like to make, uh, Peter Miller? Hey, uh, it just if my video is back up, I just wanted to share with you guys the basket of deplorables. Uh, and yes, my name is Peter Miller. John Miller is my uncle. These are some of uh, the favorite things we have going out there. Uh, we got you, the, the madman himself, with all the other madmen. We got the Pepe. We love Pepe. All right. Pepe is a symbol of peace. Do not take our memes. We got the... Uh, the Constitution, you know, the liberals hate that. I hope we put up a, uh, a trigger warning for all the cucks. We got the American flag. I'm getting through this, Alex. We got some lovely ladies supporting Trump. We got the Gatsby flag. And I guess the, the last thing I want to say uh, before I check out, I know you got big people on, uh, but on November 8th, get out, vote, and grab Lady Liberty by the pussy. Let's do this, folks. Let's make America great again. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I'm a little bit, um, and I appreciate you joining us. We'll have you back on, my friend. I'm a little bit of a Victorian. I mean, I shouldn't be, but but I. that's how I've been brought up to a certain point. But, you know, Donald Trump behind the scenes making jokes is nothing compared to Bill Clinton flying around on the pedophile express and raping countries, raping our Bill of Rights. Uh, in, in the latest emails, it has come out that she does plan to use executive order to ban our guns. That's confirmed. In fact, I haven't even gotten to that. That's in the stack that's here. That's confirmed. So, so they're coming after our guns, folks. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to turn my guns in and kill America and further bankrupt us and, you know, go after the bitter clingers because Donald Trump 11 years ago got secretly recorded being baited into talking about locker rooms. We appreciate you joining us. Peter Miller, thank you. All right, folks. Now. Thank you. You bet. Now, joining us is Roger Stone. He'll probably be popping in tonight after the debate as well. It's 90 minutes long. It kicks off at 8 o'clock Central. We have the feed. So we're going to have before, during, and after analysis. I believe if Trump doesn't come out of the gates and attack and really just overturn you know, the money changers' tables and just point out the whole thing's a facade, that's what people want. The mainstream media has a 6% trust rate AP study shows. I agree with that analysis. If he doesn't just hit him with everything, he's going to be eaten alive. Now, we'll get Roger Stone's take on that and a lot more here, a little bit in the next hour. Then we have another one of the Patriots joining us who's been exposing the Clintons have settled rep cases and Hillary Clinton covers up for it. But Roger Stone, first off, before we get to your big data dump and your analysis of what you've been told is going to happen tonight, and they could change things. First off, I don't know if you're able to hear it earlier, but I went over the data dump on the Clintons and the Sultan uh, and the uh, connections to Epstein. They're in mainstream media and the 20 plus flights, not just 16 now. And I remember you like a year ago. We got to find the clip because folks really pay attention to that. Drudge last week, you know, linked to you, bringing up Danny Williams, you know, six months or no, no, nine months ago before it was in the news. You know, uh, Bill Clinton's illegitimate, uh, illegitimate son and saying that was going to be coming up. You said about the whole Epstein thing and get ready. They've already fail, uh, failed at filing one fake lawsuit in Houston with fake names. Now they're going to file others. Uh, so this is unprecedented. You predicted all of this. I talked to you this morning at length. You said you weren't aware of all of it, but you knew it was coming. Since then, since I broke this yesterday, it's broken in a bunch of newspapers that a judge has now announced a date to hear this. So this is purely right up against the election when they won't have time to prove it either way. This is so obvious when the Clintons are the ones that hang out with this guy and he founded their foundation. I mean, am I barking up the wrong tree here? Or is this the most naked, sickening, over-the-top, deceptive October surprise in the history of the galaxy? 
No, Alex, I think you've got it about right. I mean, the Clintons know they have massive vulnerability. Jeffrey Epstein is a billionaire hedge fund manager friend of Bill. Uh, the Palm Beach County, uh, Palm Beach City Police determined that he has raped 33 underage girls between the ages of 13 and 17. We also know from the FAA records that Bill Clinton has uh, been on Epstein's hedonistic private orgy island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, we know that Epstein has given $25,000 to the Clinton Foundation, although, of course, that doesn't show on their website where they claim they are engaging in full voluntary disclosure. Uh, Grislaine Maxwell, who is essentially the pimp who goes out and recruits underage girls in bus stations and runaways for Epstein to assault, is given immunity in his prosecution and now works for a nonprofit financed by the Clinton Foundation. She was present every time Bill was on Pedo Island. Uh, we know that Epstein, a convicted pedophile, flew Bill Clinton, a suspected pedophile, to Brunei to collect a $2 million check for the Clinton Presidential Library from the Sultan of Brunei, a known pedophile who is known to have a harem of both underage boys and girls. So what we have here is deflection. The Clintons know this lawsuit will never survive. They know it'll never even go to trial. So when people say to me, oh, uh, you're accusing Bill of rape, what about the rape allegations against Trump? I say, we know who's accused Clinton of rape, Juanita Broderick, uh, and uh, uh, others, sexual assault, Paula Jones, where Bill Clinton paid an $850,000 out-of-court settlement. But those bearing witness against Trump, I would say false witness, they're anonymous. Jane Doe. This has no credibility. If you want to accuse Donald Trump of rape in a legal forum, put your name on it if you want to be taken seriously. Now, I've talked to the lawyers for the plaintiffs in the current pending Epstein case in which some of his victims are seeking to overturn his slap on the wrist conviction. Uh, and they believe that these women do not exist. Uh, the lawyer who is represented them, at least represented them in Texas, uses different names on the phone with different reporters. He appears to be an entertainment lawyer rather than having any expertise. It's clearly an intelligence operation, a classic cutout with fake names right before the election to be able to create the whole illusion, but then have it all fade away after the election. A total hoax. A an outrageous smear to deflect the Clintons. Very Let me ask you this, because you said this a year ago, and you said if Trump was to go serious, he would release this. He knew about it all. And you even predicted they would try to go after him instead because we already heard rumblings and fake suits that were thrown out with fake names. Why didn't Trump go with this against him? It's an excellent question. I must say, uh, many times I can't explain what the Trump campaign is doing. The best thing about the Trump campaign is Trump himself. Right, stay uh, there. I'm going to come back to you to talk about this and then your info on what you have been told they're planning to do tonight. StoneColdTruth.com. He's Roger Stone. We sell both of his best-selling books. InfoWarsStore.com. Stay with us. We'll be back. We have seen historical levels of corruption. The Clintons sell us out to foreign interests with the Bushes. The powerful old corrupt dynasty rejected by the voters in the Republican primary. The Republican establishment throwing everything they've got against Trump for some jocular you know, talk 11 years ago being set up, highly edited. I'm not going to even defend the talk. But compared to taking us to war, backing Al-Qaeda, selling out our jobs, Bill Clinton selling secrets, Hillary doing it, covering it all up, it is nothing. And to see the mainstream media act like this is the end of the world and all these Republican leaders that are total neocons acting like, oh, now they're suddenly against Trump. They were always against him. Then their constituents forced them to hold their nose. So regardless, the power structure is really scared. I think Trump needs to come out guns blazing politically tonight. 
I think he needs to go for the jugular or he's in deep trouble. Roger, what do you think you should do? And then a former campaign head for Trump. And then obviously we've got a clip we're going to play coming up. We start the next hour. His two-minute statement, you'll be able to continue here with your analysis. But the 10 minutes we have right now, what should Trump do, A, and then B, you've got some big breaking news that I want to get into this hour when we have a lot of stations carrying us on what you were told by a high-level source is going to happen tonight at this debate that kicks off in uh, two hours and 15 minutes. Well, Alex, Hillary Clinton is going to start the debate by refusing to shake Donald Trump's hand, after which Anderson Cooper will give her the first question, which will be, why did you decide not to shake Donald Trump's hand, giving her the open for an attack on Trump that relates to uh, the this tape incident, uh, which is a distraction from the scandal style gutter politics of the Clintons, the rotten record of corruption, and the policy failures of Bill and Hillary Clinton that have brought the country to its knees. Sure, so let's get into this. You were told this again. Repeat to me what you told me earlier. I mean, this is huge. Uh, I mean, specifically what you were told, this is obviously a stage zinger. How do you think Trump will respond or by us talking about it hours before, might they back off? Uh, Roger Stone. Well, a very high level source in the Clinton camp uh, doesn't perhaps realize that they have a leak. But Hillary, again, will open the debate by refusing to shake Trump's hand. Uh, and Anderson Cooper will then direct his first question to Hillary. Uh, giving her a forum to launch a personal attack on Trump regarding extraneous issues of 10 years ago in order to deflect from the corruption, the poor health, the policy failures, uh, and the bully boy tactics of the, of the Clintons. Uh, now, that Trump knows about this stratagem, I have no doubt that he will be well prepared for it uh, in any number of ways. Trump being a gentleman should shake Hillary's hand, despite the fact that she has uh, virtually raped the people of Haiti, that she has raped the people of Libya, that she and her husband have lined their pockets with millions in their phony charity scam. Uh, the fact that her husband is a sexual predator uh, and that Hillary herself has orchestrated the terror campaign to bully and intimidate her husband's sexual assault victims into silence. You know, Alex, there's a, an incredible piece in today's New York Post in which the veteran Republican campaign consultant Ed Rollins offers Donald Trump and his campaign six things they must do to get the campaign on track. What's historic about this piece is Rollins is wrong about every single point that he makes, including that Trump should not bring up the issue of Bill Clinton's infidelities, his indiscretions. Could we please get this straight one more time? It's right. This issue, the issue is not the Clinton's marriage. It's the brutal, vicious raping and biting of women. And can Trump MPT. see that he knew about Epstein and all this? We knew this was coming. He should have attacked earlier. Now they launch it, so it just sounds like he's counterattacking now. Well, look, Trump is not a career politician. Uh, and uh, while he has a few good people around him, uh, he's got many... Uh, uh, a boarding party from the Ted Cruz camp. And I don't see the depth of political experience there. Now, I'm a big fan of Steve Bannon because like you and I, Alex, uh, you know, he can think outside the box. He understands who the bad guys are, the globalists. Uh, he has published some of the best research on the Clinton's crimes across the board, the sex crimes, the Clinton Foundation crimes, the policy crimes that have left the Middle East a smoldering, smoking wreckage, refugees, crime, and death. So I'm a Bannon fan, uh, but only Donald Trump will decide what tactics he will use tonight. Uh, and uh, I think in a certain sense, historically, as you know, 
the audience for the debate, the second debate drops dramatically from the first, traditionally. Because of this tape incident, Donald Trump's audience tonight, I think, will be larger than the first debate. So here is an opportunity to score that may be unprecedented. I don't want to say he's doomed with 29 days out if he doesn't absolutely have a brutal coup de grace. But now is the time to both barrels to say this is outrageous hypocrisy. Don't interrupt me, Anderson Cooper, like the last debater did 40-something times, her six times. Stop turning my mic off. The debate commission admitted they did it. Don't rig this. Stop scamming me and the American people. Your fraud is over. I think he's just tearing to Hillary Clinton when she outrageously brings up his garbage. Now, we were given this information from our Democratic source because they're concerned about World War III and their kids. Uh, any other tidbits from your source on this coming up tonight? Any other points we should know? Well, look, I, I've got to hand it to the Clinton campaign. Uh, these folks have run numerous presidential campaigns, and they are skillful at creating diversionary non-issues, such as Miss Venezuela. Uh, I would uh, caution uh, Trump and the Trump supporters not to get into a discussion on extraneous issues. Stay focused on the policy failures and record of corruption uh, and the uh, and the sexual assaults and cover-ups of the Clintons, uh, trade, immigration, jobs, and most importantly, war. Because Alex, we are hurtling towards war with the Russians. We are provoking the Russians. We are inserting ourselves in Syria in which neither Assad uh, and his Russian uh, patrons or ISIS and their Saudi patrons are friends of ours. Why would we spend American blood and treasure in such a war? Well, the Democrats want to win an election. If we have to go to war with Russia, that will be the cost. This is classic. They broke in the ceasefire, started targeting the, the Syrian and Russian forces we had to deal with. The Russians have erected a no-fly zone in response to the Pentagon saying we're prepared to attack the Russians under Obama and Hillary's orders. What liberal out there would want this? This is, if Bush was doing that, I'd be calling for his impeachment. This is mad dog behavior. Uh, calling for a no-fly zone is madness. It's, it's just madness. The AWACS that the uh, that the Russians now have here are superior to anybody else can bring to the theater. This could spark World War III. But as long as Hillary gets elected, of course, that would be okay with the Obama administration. I was on a panel the other day uh, with uh, Max Boot, formerly of the Wall Street Journal. He's salivating for war. He also told the audience creating his own reality, everything's great in America. That's right. These neocons think that we can have a nuclear war, we're going to survive. These are insane people. I mean, it's kind of like the the uh, you know big movie that's out about the situation that happened with BP and the big oil spill uh, and with this uh, you know Horizon oil rig uh, that blew up. They knew that if you didn't dump concrete on it, it would blow up. The executive said, we don't care, we want bigger profit. And the engineers said, it will blow up. And they said, we don't care, you're full of it. There's this executive insanity we're seeing where I watched Congress two weeks ago going, just shoot down the Russian airplanes with missiles. They go, but then they'll attack our pilots. But the missiles don't have pilots on them. The point is they're going to attack our ships off the shore. Like, Congress is insane. Not just the Democrats. These are insane people with all these crazy right-wing neocons running Hillary and Obama. What the hell's wrong with the left? Yeah, it's really extraordinary. Donald Trump is the peace candidate in this race. Donald Trump favors a period Well, that's why we got this leak from a high-level Democrat. I mean, people that have brains are really freaking out. It's like Hillary, you know, has an H in her name for a reason. She's Hitlery. We're going to be back in 70 seconds to start the third hour. We only do, normally do two hours on Sunday. We're going to go right past 10 o'clock tonight. The debate's coming up. We're covering it all. Infowars.com forward slash show. If your station stops carrying us in a minute, Infowars.com forward slash show. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones, and we'll be back with Roger Stone.